Am I the asshole for being truthful and admitting that I find my wife unattractive after her surgery? My wife had plastic surgery recently. We discussed it and I was against it. It was not my decision and ultimately I had no say. She looks weird now. She had the fat sucked out of her face. It's been a few months and I kind of dread having to look at her. She's noticed this. She's been bugging me to tell her what's up. I wasn't harsh or brutally honest. I just told her that her new face wasn't something I found attractive. But you can imagine literally in the story, she thinks he's cheating on him and he's like, nah, bro, it's just because you clapped. <laughs> it's not the person I fell in love with. If you don't look like that person no more, you look like someone else. That's a big thing. You're your face is who you are. It defines you, right? Apart from everything else, like your personality and all that. <laughs> Everyone should know by now that if you're coming to watch an atypical advice, it's not actually for good advice. It's just a chat. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Atypical. We are recording another atypical advice for you guys today. Uh, we had just done one and it went completely off the rails. So let's hope it, Kate, this does not do the same thing here. A bit more no civilized. Promises. Yeah. And I was the reason why. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> but, um, Standard. Yeah. <laughs> uh we're gonna pass it off to jay now because he's gonna do his and yeah let's kick it off let's see what one all right i'm hoping we we debate a bit on this because i think there's some controversy to it but i'll be mm -hmm. interested to know what everyone thinks so i'll start it off there's a there's like a two-parter to this because the guy actually came back with an update a few weeks later um so i'll say the main story first then we get chat and then i'll go through the update all right the title am i the asshole for being truthful and admitting that I find my wife unattractive after her surgery. My wife had plastic surgery recently. We discussed it and I was against it. It was not my decision and ultimately I had no say. She looks weird now. She had the, she had the fat sucked out of her face, um, which I forget the term for that procedure, but it's pretty life famous. Like, and it's like oh, bucker nice. fat removal or something is what it's called. Oh, maybe Skin and cheekbones, Wait, like, bro. Yeah, you literally those high take ass cheekbones all out of the face. Uh -huh. um, so she had that done to her face. She had lip fillers, and neck lift, and a few other things that I don't really get. She gives me uncanny valley vibes now. It uh -huh. freaks me out. She's she's fully healed now, and she wants us to go back to normal, um, like me initiating sex and other romantic gestures. I've done so, but not as much as I used to. And when I do try, um, I make sure there's very little light in the room. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <clears throat> it's been a few months and I kind of dread having to look at her. Obviously, she's noticed this. She's been bugging me to tell her what's up. I've tried telling her I'm just tired from work or a bunch of other excuses or that I'm run down. Really anything except for the truth. She broke down and asked me if I was having an affair. I said that I wasn't. <laughs> she said yeah. <laughs> and she so asked to look <laughs> she have an easy way out. Off. Yeah, that yeah literally. She asked to look through my phone. I unlocked it, gave it to her, handed it over. Um, as I wasn't worried about anything, so I wasn't having an affair. Right? He just gets mate to She's... text her. <laughs> <laughs> like Sh why is Shirley messaging you? <laughs> why is her mate Shirley? Yeah, I can't think of any name. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Yeah. Um, she spent an hour looking through it and found nothing. She asked me to explain why I changed. I tried explaining. That it just, I wasn't that interested right now. Nothing I said was good enough for her. She kept digging. So finally, I bottled and told her the truth. I wasn't harsh or brutally honest. Um, I just told her that her new face wasn't something I found attractive. I don't know how that's not brutally honest, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> I, told, I told her that her face wasn't something I found attractive and that I was turned off. She asked if that's why I turn off the lights now. I said, yes. Ah. Uh... She started crying and said that she needed time alone and she went to stay with her sister. I've been called every name in the book since this happened. Her sister said I'm a piece of shit for insulting my wife's looks. Her friend all think her friends all think I'm the asshole. I tried not to say anything. I can't force myself to find her attractive. I still love her, but her face is just weird now. Okay, so let's say you're in this position, right? And your partner's just got plastic surgery um, with all the stuff. So whatever it's called, bucker fat remover, whatever it's called, fat, fat remover from your face, lip fillers, neck lift, eyebrow lift, all the sorts. And now she looks like a completely different person. What do you mm. think? And then you're going to give us a follow-up, yeah? Because there's been follow-up since. How old are they? Yeah. They don't give an age, but I would ah. assume. We can just assume 30s. Let's just assume 30s. Or late mm. 20s. Can't lie to you, the age is such a big deciding factor in this because I, it's funny, I was having this discussion with a certain person we all know, and the discussion went something like this, 
He still says he loves her, he just doesn't find her attractive, right? Now, yep. as two people in a relationship, when that individual, when they eventually get, when you know, when they're old, when they're old, you know, when they're wrinkly, when they're in their seventies, they can barely walk, they got a hunchback, it, it, the list goes on. Would you still find them attractive? I love the way he's done that. That was <laughs> so amazing. That is, listen, to anyone watching, that has a, that is how you avoid a question. <laughs> no, no, no. no it's that not. is how you do no, it. Take no, fucking it's, notes. No, it's not. It's fundamental to what I'm about to say. <laughs> but I just need you two, as the two people engaged in a relationship with actual experience, you know, where's your take on it? <laughs> <laughs> This guy's a lot. Naturally, naturally aging is completely different to altering your body through procedures. No, no, no. But that's I, I know. But I'm just want to know, isn't it? Like when, yes. when you, I think yes, it's I'll, be too. I'll be wrinkly yeah. too. It's it's a different kind of love. I feel like it would be. It's not like oh yeah, you're a fucking badass with a big back. It's more like it's more like you're beautiful inside and out. Like I've known you for so long, and I still find you beautiful inside and out because of what we had. It's like up, so man. Out, it's it? The start, the start of up, like because she, right. she's bad. She's still bad for a ninety-year-old. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes, because she's she's been bad. <laughs> she's been bad. She's a baddie. Once a baddie, always a bad. <laughs> <laughs> up woman's a baddie. Yeah, that's a hot take. I've ever heard one, brother. She was when she was younger, bro. That was the first. Was... Uh, we need to do a Pixar. We need to do a Pixar <laughs> baddie that's list. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i agree i agree if you if you love someone and, and age with them the physical attraction is still going to be there because your perception of beauty i think eventually will grow you, with you yeah i think yeah. eventually you'd also i mean it happens though it does happen a lot of people do fall out of attractiveness like they don't feel that same spark because they don't have that sexual attraction anymore because they're old they look like a you know like a ball if you get like a tennis ball not a tennis ball maybe a stress ball so imagine right now a stress ball, push it really hard. That's yeah. their face. Like deflated. But people, yeah. people still fall out of attraction for others, even without aging, just yeah. in relationships. And, and, yeah, not, true. Yeah. and to add to that, I feel like if you're still, if you're still horny and stuff, yeah, you still, you still got sexual tendencies, but you're older and you don't find your wife paying anymore. You're likely to go for young, younger people. You're going to be like, oh, let me find a 20 year old, like fucking Leo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. So exactly. Yeah. Um, my take to answer your question is <laughs> after everyone's answered. Yes, is, is yeah, man, he's so immature, bro. <laughs> he's so immature. Oh, he needs to act like an adult. <laughs> Fault the guy for liking what he likes, man. Jesus. <laughs> no, I, but honestly, that. I, 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 I honestly think, yeah, <laughs> it's it's mean that he wasn't just straight up with it. I think the the yeah. fact that he beat around the bush is what makes it mean and like elongated because it's so funny, <laughs> not funny, but you can imagine literally in the story she thinks he's cheating on him and he's like, nah, bro, it's just because you clapped. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> that's a crazy roller coaster, brother. I think that's even worse. If she didn't it think is. initially he was cheating, it'd be like, okay, we need a breakup. But like thinking she was sus- she was suspicious that whole time. She was thinking he was fiddling with somebody else, and just to know. <laughs> It's just because I'm ugly is way worse. The journey is what makes the destination way more cruel. And so spot on. I don't think he's wrong for not liking if he doesn't find it attractive. He don't find it attractive, you don't find it attractive. What can you say, right? People have preferences. I just think the way he went around it is what makes it mean. And um, he should have just been straight up with it. I mean it's a it's a touchy one though, isn't it? Because it's his wife. But mm-hmm. I don't know. And also I think there's what an would you, element what would you do in that situation? If your partner did that, would you, and you don't find them attractive anymore, would you stay with them or would you break up? Uh, it depends. It really depends on a lot of factors. How, that's why I asked about the age. Do they have any children? How far into relationship? What's the financial situation? There's so many factors. If this was like newlyweds, no kids, they're within one year of marriage, probably, probably like end it there, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Can I ask a question real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Why You're laughing, but I feel like it's an important thing to have sexual attraction, right? You can't, you can't yeah. just like, if, and also if I was like, it's a sticky one because yeah, she's entitled to change her appearance if she wants to. It's her decision in the day. It's also his decision in the day if you don't like it. 
It's up to him. It's a you know, choice. You can leave. It's a choice. Thank you very <laughs> much. I was just about to say, there's a recurring theme here. The choice, right? <laughs> Shout out to Hamza. There's um, no way. I was he's going made, for that, Jay. Made you away. Feel, you feel that. You feel that. that was a good one. I'm glad that you got my memo. Um, that's but amazing. yeah, that's what I said. If it's newlyweds. Yeah. If it's newlyweds, I'm saying divorced, bro. I'm, I'm saying divorced. as well. Because you yeah. know what? It's not the person I fell in love with. You don't look like that person no more. You look like someone else. That's a big thing. <laughs> your face is who you are. It defines you, right? Apart from everything else, like your personality, you know, fuck all that. Your face <laughs> is the first thing you see, right? If I'm looking at you and you don't look like who I fell in love with, geez, get out of my get out of the room. Get out of my yard. Get out of my life. Respectfully, innit? Respectfully. 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 I'm just going to chuck their bags outside through the window, bruv. <laughs> oh, my this dude. is for the liposuction. <laughs> and this this for the fuck filler and this this cause you're cut <laughs> what, funny what's enough, your what's your opinions on plastic surgery in general like, funny enough that's what I was gonna say it's funny enough you said this we actually had a discussion last recording session you weren't there Jay about like yeah. what's really the difference between like a lip filler and like getting your nose done or getting your teeth done like where's the yeah. fine line Where, where's the line so it's funny you've brought this up if I'm being honest lip surgery uh, I keep wanting to say lip surgeons. That's not lip surgery. Uh, lip filler because it can dissolve. I don't think it's that bad. There's a point where if you keep doing it, like that's just like off putting, and I don't. First of all, fiscally, that's not responsible. First of all, <laughs> how much? How much do you think? How much do you guys think that uh, lip filler costs? Probably a couple k. Lip filler. But I don't think you have to. I'd get say eight hundred pounds. Right? Say eight hundred pounds. <clears throat> Surely you don't have to get it that often. Doesn't it last like five years or something? Really? You think thought, considering we literally talked about lip fill for 20 minutes last recording, we'd be experts on it, but <laughs> nah, bro. Um, the treatment usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes. Didn't you say uh, like re-ups as well? That like you come back later? I think you have to do multiple appointments for them too, because they don't inject it all at once. Uh, but okay. you know I what? I feel like it lasts a while. You know what? It's a bargain, lads. So I might have to get I might have to get it done, bro. Well, you have <laughs> sexy lips. Don't say that. I might have to get them even bigger, bro. Get the speed thing. Get the speed <laughs> jar thing. Two hundred quid to several is that, hundred pounds. That, is that per appointment though? Uh, yeah, yeah. D- it depends on need? things like type of a product, number of syringes used, and the complexity of the area being treated. There's a lot of caveats involved, but let's just say two hundred minimum. It they usually last between six to eighteen months. Well, that's not that so if not so it. if you if you're spending like let's say 500 quid years. let's call it even 500 quid every year every six months that's what i'm saying it's not fiscally responsible that sounds like the 500 quid a year is someone i affordable wanna... for people on reasonable salaries people yeah on that for another yeah thing. but like lip, on your lips lip, lip filler though there's like other important stuff bro say this yeah, say this to go to japan it, brother donate. Yeah, all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sticky one, steel. <laughs> yeah. If people are getting filler, they're already at the point where they they f- they feel like they want to make a big change to their looks. You so, if you're know. at that point, you're more likely to go through with it. I don't know. You know, I feel like at this point, lip filler is so desensitized that lip filler it, to me, stat ranking in terms of what's like probable, lip filler is like the number one go to easy one. I feel like that's that the number one because of Kylie Jenner. It's like the number I'd, one. I think veneers are much more desensitized. Ah, see, mm. this is the, the funny discussion because veneers has to, I don't really we count teeth. Yeah, I don't really count teeth like within this whole realm of like. But they're not surgery. real. You're not. You're not making real adjustments to your teeth. You're putting fake stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's completely true. Different. True. Veneers. It's not the same as a filling, right? It's not the same as a filling or getting true. your teeth straightened with braces. Yeah. All right, that's fair. Veneers might be because they have to shave down your teeth anyway to fit on the veneers. So mm-hmm. that's a fair point. Veneers, lip filler, I'll put same realm. And then just a little bit below that, above that is like rhinoplasty. Get your nose done. And then everything else is yeah. just like, pro, like, I don't know. Like you have to be deep in the game, I think. Like they're not going to be your first <laughs> thing. Vet. Yeah, you got to be a vet, bro. You got to be I like. Got my, got my five stars yesterday. <laughs> yeah, like yeah for sure. All right, let me quickly give the update, see if it... I don't think it will change anyone's opinions because we kind of agreed on what we all think anyway. Um, but... Typical man thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, she's yeah. clapped now, leave her. 
<laughs> no, I think it's, it's a joke. Listen, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a joke, it's, guys. We're it's a joke. We're joking. All I do is satire, bro. These advices <laughs> are not truthful. Like you should know this by right now. Yeah, I, I think the, everyone like, should know by now that if you're coming to watch an atypical advice, it's not actually for good advice. Yeah, for shit. men, bro. Chatting shit. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Now. You should know what's oh, within the realms. Oh, yeah, do better. <laughs> A bit, of, a bit of, all right let me give the update <laughs> my wife came home yesterday and we finally had a long talk so the, the normal story ended with her going and moving with her sister for a little story. while yeah story, story, story. <laughs> right my wife came home yesterday and we finally had a long talk she told me that the reason she had surgery was because her mum and sister talked her into it they convinced her that she was starting to look old and that i would find someone else to be with if she didn't do something about it Oh. That was why her mum gave her the money for the operations. She she paid for it. The mum. Yeah. Uh, Your mum. Are they are they still together? I'll carry on. I'll carry on. Um, he's given another reference here. If people want to see, her mum and sister look like Bruce Campbell in Escape from LA. I'll give people <laughs> a little. Full of, my man's full of movie references, bro. I'll my give man's people full of them. A little element. reasoning of what that looks like. It literally looks like what Zac Efron looks like now. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Campbell's jaw. the guy. Um, oh, yeah. Bruce Campbell's the. Uh, it's uh, it's hella chiseled jaw, right? Oh, Evil Dead. Right. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. It looks like the Mars. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, so shit. her mum and sister look like that. Uh, visual. They are the very last people on the planet that should be telling anyone to get plastic surgery. Aww. I used some of the comments. Oh, yeah. So now I'm saying use some of the comments read as talking points. So on the previous one, just to give a bit of context, pretty much everyone on Reddit said, you're not the asshole because yeah. you, yes. you, you stated, We're not you stated be your viewpoints. <laughs> <laughs> you stated your viewpoints. She went and did it anyway. Now it is what it is. Fuck around, find out. You know, so. Yeah. Um, okay. So he used some of the comments as talking points. He told her that so I told her that I loved her and that she was the person that I wanted to spend my life with. I told her that the surgery would take a while longer um, to settle down. Yeah, the surgery would take a while longer to settle down. And as I got more used to her face, I would learn to appreciate it. She asked me if I wanted her to see if she could get it reversed. Uh, I said, the, the last thing in the world I want is for her to fuck up her face more. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's so joke. <laughs> I, oh, I asked her if she could please just leave it and let me get used to it we talked for about three hours and we decided that her mum and sister would not be part of any decisions in our life going forward she's going to leave her face alone and give me a chance to get used to it we're going to talk we're going to look for a marriage counsellor and maybe individual counsellors for each of us um, I'm going to make an effort to show her every day how I still find her desirable and she's going to make an effort to believe me when on. I tell her I love her and no. the way that she is. Okay, um, happy ending then. Happy and then ending. He said, yeah, he said, we're going to talk to her mum and sister and tell them that we're taking a break from them and basically block them and tell them to fuck off. Guys. Update, um, it didn't work. <laughs> She's not yeah. the first me. I call it worse. <laughs> yeah. She looks so, even worse. <laughs> so is her her, her, her mum and her sister were the biggest <laughs> proponents of her messing up her entire face. What See, lads, bitches. this is why you have boundaries. <laughs> cool Problems always circle. come from the inside, man. Yeah, insecurities. I mean, it was always inevitable, but... That's really sad, man. It is really sad, but I mean, they're still together, at least yeah. from, it sounds like. The fact that he says that I can get used to the face tells me, I hope, that it's not that different. Like, it's different. It, she looks different, but at least it's something that he can get used to rather than it's like like wonky cheekbones up there this that the other let's know what you lot think uh, in the comments um what would you do if you were in this situation either or <clears> if you're <throat> female with a male partner and they get some crazy shit or the other way around um yeah what would you do and how would it impact you but otherwise like subscribe all that good stuff um, we'll be back soon with another atypical advice and a bunch of new videos coming out very shortly um so yeah see you guys next time